So please review your uh, writing materials now, all of you. Ready with your writing material. You want to write two question answers. Okay. You want this is an MCQ question. Pattern is there for the examination, but some question answers should be learned properly. Okay, so please ready with your writing materials, all of you. Okay, so in the morning session, we discussed about uh, how India is trying to become a permanent member in the Security Council of the United Nations and how uh, the arrival countries of India is or they are trying to make India away from that position. Okay, clear. That two things we discussed in the morning session there. Okay, now write down the question. What are the functions of Security Council? What are the functions of the Security Council? What are the functions of Security Council? So, Security Council, the membership in the Security Council is the prestigious one for almost all the countries. Okay, it is so prestigious. Okay, number of countries are trying to become a permanent member in the Security Council of United Nations. Okay, clear. And what are the functions of the Security Council? So, why these countries want to be a permanent member? Okay, so that is the question here. What are the functions of the Security Council? Write down. It is, sorry, its main function is to maintain, its main function is to maintain peace and security in the world, peace and security in the world, peace and security in the world. Okay, so what is the main function of the Security Council? To maintain peace and security. Maintain peace and the security. Okay, the, sorry. The other functions are as follows. The other functions as follows. The other functions are as follows. First one. The Security Council recommends, the Security Council recommends methods to adjust, the Security Council recommends methods to adjust, methods to adjust, dispute among nations, dispute among nations. Second one, Security Council can, Security Council can take military actions if needed. Security Council can take military actions if needed, if needed. Third point, Security Council elects, Security Council elects the judges of International Court of Justice. Security Council elects the judges of International Court of Justice. International Court of Justice and appoints and appoints the Secretary General, the Secretary General, S E C R E T A R Y, Secretary General, by recommending to the General Assembly, by recommending to the General Assembly. 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 Okay. Fourth point Security Council can apply.
Security Council can apply economic sanction, economic sanction and also to stop any aggression and also to stop any aggression and also to stop any aggression. Fifth point. The Security Council can investigate The Security Council can investigate The Security Council can investigate the disputes in case of the disputes in case of in case of a friction friction arises in case of a friction arises in case of a friction arises next question as a citizen of india as a citizen citizen of india as a citizen of india how would you support how would you support india's candidature india's candidature for the permanent membership of security council for the permanent membership of the security council justify your proposal justify your proposal can anyone tell me this answer no idea so right on the first point as a citizen of india as a citizen of india as a citizen of india we may support we may support we may support india's candidature india's candidature india's candidature for the permanent membership for the permanent membership for the permanent membership of the security council of united nations permanent membership of security council of the united nations in the following manner in the following manner in the following manner okay so there are we know that number of criteria are the two choose one country as a permanent member in member of the security council okay what are they first of all india is the most populous country in the world india is the most populous country in the world sir yeah isn't it second most what i told most no sorry second most
So it is the second most populous. Okay. China is the first one, right? Okay. India is the second most populous country in the world. India is the second most populous country in the world with one fifth of the world population. With one fifth of the world's population. So correct that if anyone wrote it is the most populous, write it, write it as second populous. Okay. India is the second populous country in the world with one fifth of the world population. Second point. India is world's largest democracy. India is world's largest democracy. India is the world's largest democracy. Third one, India's economic emergence, India's economic emergence, on the world stage. India's economic emergence on the world stage. Means India is a double India has a developing economy. Developing economy. That's it. India's economic emergence on the world stage. Fourth one. India is a regular financial contributor to the United Nations. India is a regular financial Contributor, contributor, India is a regular financial contributor to the United Nations. To the United Nations. Okay. Fifth point. India signifies a growing importance. India signifies a growing importance in world affairs, in world affairs, world affairs, in conduct of its foreign policy. India signifies a growing importance in world affairs in conduct of its foreign policy. What is the foreign policy of India? No, 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 alignment. Okay, no, no, alignment, right. Right on. India signifies a growing importance in world affairs in conduct of its uh, foreign policy. Sixth point, India participated, India participated India participated in all the initiatives of the United Nations. India participated in all the initiatives of the United Nations. Of the United Nations. Okay. So this is the, these are the reasons. Okay. Because of these reasons, we can say that, or we can support uh, India's candidature to the United Nations Security Council, right? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, tell me. What about the military power, that point? Definitely, you can write that too, no problem. It is the fourth largest military in the world. Okay, fourth largest military in the world. Okay, so it's very powerful military. It's a booming economy. Okay, so almost all the criteria uh, that prescribed by the United Nations is fulfilled by India. Okay, then also this number of problems are there to accept uh, India as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. Number of other countries are creating trouble for India's permanent membership. Clear? Okay, done. Next question, write down. So these questions are related with the topic that what we uh, discussed in the morning session. Clear? So learn this question answer as well. Okay. Critically evaluate. Critically evaluate the difficulties. The difficulties. The 
the difficulties involved in implementing involved in implementing the suggested the suggested reforms to reconstruct the un suggested reforms to reconstruct the united nations un repeating the question critically evaluate the difficulties involved in implementing the suggested reforms to reconstruct the united nations answer the following are the question marks in implementing the following are the questions sorry write it as the following are the question marks question marks in implementing in implementing the suggested reforms the suggested reforms so suggested reforms to reconstruct the united nations to reconstruct the uni united nations first question sorry oh yeah first question only how big an economic power how big an economic how big an economic and military power how big an economic and military power may qualify may qualify to become to become a member of a member of UNSC a member of UNSC United Nations Security Council okay you got that it is not that easy to reconstruct united nations the question the first question is uh, how big a country's economy or a military power military power okay that able to satisfy the criteria or qualify to become a member of united nations security council second question what level of budget contribution should be enabled so a country want to become a permanent member it should be a contributor to the un's budget right okay how big it is what level of budget contribution should be enabled that is another question what level of budget contribution should be enabled what level of budget contribution should be enabled third question no guarantee to be effective no guarantee to be effective as council member as council member council member in the respect for democracy and human rights in respect for democracy and the human rights okay so you can see here no guarantee to be effective as council member in respect for democracy and the human rights a country in some extent 
it can provide democratical rights to the people and it is protecting the human right of the people all right clear or not in that concept in that related to that concept how democratical a country should be or what is the level of human rights which is protected in that particular country such kind of questions also should be asked clear to become a permanent member next question next question why should the issue of equitable why should be the issue of equitable representation decided by geography why should the issue of equitable representation decided by geography and why not by levels of economic development and why not by levels of economic development okay Next one. Why not to give more seats to members of developing world? Why not to give more seats to members of developing world? okay all the above mentioned criteria all the above mentioned criteria which were adopted which were adopted but not universally accepted but not universally accepted hence the difficulties were involved so these are the criteria okay but these criteria are not universally acceptable accepted by different countries because of this the problem is existing because of this uh, the reform of united nations is not that easy not that easy clear or not which means there are number of countries are there they are economically and uh, militarily developed number of countries are there the they are providing lots of funds contributing to the un budget okay there are lots of countries are there following democracy and giving adequate importance for human rights and what in what basis the united nations will choose some countries to be a part of uh, the security council so it is very difficult too difficult okay so please read and learn that next question next question next question for us though the un has failed though the un has failed though the un has failed in preventing wars in preventing wars in preventing wars and related miseries preventing wars and related miseries comma nations prefer its con sorry nations prefer 
nations prefer its continuation its continuation full stop this is a statement though the un has failed to preventing wars and related miseries nations prefer its continuation full stop what makes the un an indispensable organization there is a question what makes un what makes the un an indispensable organization an indispensable organization okay so there were various problems so far the world witnessed or we people observed the various wars various problems all around the world united nations interference is minimal okay and it is not able to or unable to solve all the problems that are related with a war okay various wars completed already right then also almost all the countries in the world they seek or they want the un to continue as an international organization okay and what makes un a indispensable in or a non destructible okay organization right on the first question sorry the first point first point interdependence and globalization interdependence and globalization is not possible is not possible without the international organization without the international organizations such as the united nations organization repeating that sentence one more time interdependence and globalization is not possible without the international organizations such as the united nations such as the united nations second point to enforce cooperation to enforce cooperation on the issues of poverty on the issues of poverty on the issues of poverty to enforce cooperation on the issues of poverty comma unemployment unemployment comma environmental degradation environmental degradation comma crime rate etc crime rates etc third point to provide financial assistance to provide financial assistance to provide financial assistance to developing countries to developing countries to stabilize economy all over the world to stabilize economy all over the world the un and its specialized agencies is always required the un and its specialized specialized agencies always required 
the UN and its specialized agencies always required. Next one, the UN works as a forum. The UN works as a forum. The UN works as a forum to solve any international dispute, to solve any international dispute, among nations, international dispute among nations, and sort out the best possible way. And sort out the best possible way. Okay. Next point. Hence, though, hence. Though the UN has failed, hence, comma, though the though the UN has failed in preventing related wars and miseries, in preventing related wars and miseries, wars and miseries. Despite the nations require, despite the nations require its continuation due to above mentioned reasons, due to above mentioned reasons, due to above mentioned reasons. Okay, so hope these things are clear for you people. So today we wrote four questions. Okay, clear. So please learn all those questions for the next session. At the same time, remember, uh, complete your project. Okay, don't uh, take a pause or should not create a delay in that. Okay, the process should be go on in a perfect way. I'm sure they asked you to write the fair copy, so you can start writing the fair copy. It's no problem. Okay, so before that, let me see the draft code. Okay, clear. And I don't want to worry about any other things there. Any doubts, you can ask me. Okay, so it's a time to wind up the session. I have another class. Okay, thank you.